Hi everyone and welcome back to the Repair and Installation TV channel. The erection of the lattice boom crane Liebherr LG1550 The Liebherr LG1550 is a lattice boom crane known for its heavy lifting capabilities and versatile applications. Manufa Hi everyone and welcome back to the Repair and Installation TV channel. The Liebherr LG1550 is a lattice boom crane known for its heavy lifting capabilities and versatile applications. Manufactured by Liebherr, a renowned company specializing in cranes and heavy machinery, the LG1550 is designed to handle loads up to 800 tons and reach heights of up to 180 meters. It is equipped with the latest technology, including a telescopic boom, making it suitable for both road and off-road operations. With a lifting capacity ranging from 25 to 800 tons, it is a powerful crane that offers efficient and reliable performance. The LG1550 is known for its excellent maneuverability and road-friendly features. With its hydropneumatic suspension and powerful drive system, it achieves high average speeds during transportation. Upon arrival at the steel mill, the crane is prepared for its first task, a challenging job to replace a heat recovery boiler located above a blast furnace. The preparation for the crane's erection begins as the LG1550 is positioned precisely according to pre-calculated measurements. The outriggers are hydraulically extended, and the sliding beams are telescoped. The support cylinders are retracted into the leveling plates with millimeter precision to bring the crane into a perfect level position. The crane's cab is then hydraulically raised to the working position, ensuring a safe and efficient setup process. Safety is a top priority during crane operations, and Liebherr cranes are designed with this in mind. Once the crane is in position, the installation of the lattice boom begins. The LG1550 features a universal boom system that allows for versatile applications. With the help of the derrick mast and the suspended counterweight, it can achieve a maximum outreach of 84 meters and a height of 110 meters while still lifting a considerable load of 23 tons. Equipped with specialized equipment, the LG1550 can reach an impressive height of 180 meters. The crane assembly process is carried out quickly and economically, even in tight spaces. Liebherr cranes are designed to provide efficient setup and dismantling, ensuring optimal productivity. Safety is a key consideration during crane operations, and Liebherr cranes are built to meet the highest safety standards. During the assembly of the lattice boom, innovative tools and techniques are employed to streamline the process. The transportable bolt tensioner, operated by a portable hydraulic unit, replaces manual labor and simplifies the assembly. The hydraulic bolting system reduces time and effort, ensuring efficient and accurate assembly. As the lattice boom grows, additional sections are added, secured with bolts, and hydraulically pressed into place. Liebherr cranes utilize advanced computer systems for precise design and construction. Finite element analysis is employed to optimize the weight and performance of each component, resulting in the best possible load capacity with the lowest transport weight. Once the lattice boom assembly is complete, the crane is ready for operation. 
The Liebherr LG1550 is equipped with various safety features, including load moment indicators and advanced control systems, ensuring safe and precise lifting operations. The crane operator receives real-time information and commands through the electronic control system, allowing for smooth and accurate movements. The construction of the Confederation Bridge, one of Canada's most significant infrastructure projects, spanned from October 1993 to May 1997. This remarkable engineering feat involved the creation of a 12.9-kilometer bridge connecting the provinces of New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island, crossing the treacherous waters of the Northumberland Strait. The construction process was a complex and meticulously planned undertaking requiring innovative engineering solutions and the coordination of a vast workforce. The project was spearheaded by Strait Crossing, a private consortium that entered into an agreement with the Government of Canada. The consortium took on the responsibility of financing, designing, constructing, and operating the bridge. The construction process began in 1994 with the establishment of staging facilities in New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. These facilities served as the production sites for the various components that would form the bridge. One of the key aspects of the construction process was the production of precast post-tensioned concrete components. These components were manufactured at the staging facilities and then transported to the bridge site for assembly. The use of precast concrete allowed for greater quality control and efficiency in the construction process. The construction of the bridge involved the use of specialized equipment and techniques. One notable piece of equipment was the twin launching truss, which was equipped with a traveling gantry crane. This equipment facilitated the assembly of the bridge components by moving along the bridge structure as construction progressed. It allowed for the precise placement of the precast concrete components, ensuring a secure and stable bridge. The construction process also involved the placement of massive pier bases and shafts. The pier bases, weighing up to 5,200 tons each, were designed to support the weight of the bridge and withstand the harsh marine environment. The pier shafts, which measured up to 40 meters in height, were constructed on top of the pier bases and provided additional support for the bridge. To transport the bridge components from the staging facilities to the bridge site, both land and water transportation methods were employed. Components were either transported by specially designed heavy transport vehicles or loaded onto barges and transported by water. This required careful planning and coordination to ensure the safe and timely delivery of the components. As construction progressed, quality control played a crucial role. An on-site laboratory was set up to test the concrete and ensure that it met the necessary standards. Rigorous testing procedures were implemented to ensure the strength and durability of the bridge components.
Throughout the construction process, environmental considerations were a priority. The bridge was designed to minimize its impact on the marine environment and to withstand the region's severe weather conditions. The construction team worked closely with environmental agencies to implement measures to protect marine life and minimize disruption to the ecosystem. The construction of the Confederation Bridge created significant employment opportunities for the local population. More than 2,000 people were employed by straight crossing, with an additional 500 individuals employed by subcontractors. This provided a boost to the regional economy and fostered a sense of pride among the local workforce. In July 1995, a one-of-a-kind floating crane called the Swan arrived off the coast of Prince Edward Island to aid in the construction process. The Swan, a heavy lift vessel, played a vital role in placing the bridge components into position. Over the course of 18 months, the Swan carefully maneuvered and installed the massive precast components, contributing to the steady progress of the construction. The construction process faced various challenges, including adverse weather conditions and logistical complexities. However, through meticulous planning, innovative engineering solutions, and the dedication of the workforce, these challenges were overcome. The construction of the Confederation Bridge was completed in May 1997, on schedule and within budget. The Confederation Bridge stands as a testament to human ingenuity and engineering excellence. It has not only connected the provinces of New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island but has also become an iconic symbol of Canadian unity and progress. The construction process of this remarkable bridge serves as a shining example of successful large-scale infrastructure development, leaving a lasting legacy for generations to come. Tower cranes play a pivotal role in the construction of high-rise buildings in China, and their importance can be quantified through specific numbers. Firstly, tower cranes are responsible for lifting and transporting heavy construction materials to various levels of the building. These cranes have impressive lifting capacities, typically ranging from 6 to 20 metric tons or even higher for larger models. This enables them to efficiently move steel beams, concrete panels, precast elements, and other heavy components to the required heights. Tower cranes can reach heights of up to 200 meters or more, allowing them to service the entire construction site. In terms of efficiency, tower cranes can achieve impressive lifting speeds. For instance, a modern tower crane can lift loads at an average speed of 60 meters per minute. This rapid lifting capability significantly reduces the time required to move materials and equipment, improving construction efficiency and overall productivity. Tower cranes also contribute to the assembly of prefabricated components in high-rise buildings. In China, the adoption of prefabricated construction techniques has been increasing to accelerate construction timelines and enhance quality control. Tower cranes are vital in lifting and positioning these prefabricated elements with precision. They can handle loads of up to 16 metric tons or more, allowing for the efficient installation of large-scale prefabricated sections. In terms of safety, tower cranes provide a secure working environment for construction workers. They are equipped with advanced safety features, including anti-collision systems and overload protection mechanisms. These features help prevent accidents and ensure the well-being of workers at heights. 
Additionally, tower cranes offer spacious cabins with panoramic views of the construction site, allowing operators to oversee operations and communicate effectively with the ground team. Another significant aspect is the utilization of limited land space in densely populated areas. Tower cranes are set up within the construction site, eliminating the need for external areas for material storage and assembly. This is particularly important in China's urban centers, where available land is scarce. By utilizing vertical space efficiently, tower cranes enable the construction of high-rise buildings within tight city boundaries.